So I need to make a lot of assorted uh, fruits, fruit baskets for this project I'm working on. And they don't have to be like perfect looking, but I just need to make a lot of them. So when I was thinking of different materials I can possibly use, I thought about using like rolled up little clay balls, but that seems so time consuming for the amount of fruits I'm planning to make. So it occurred to me that I keep a lot of uh, silica gel desiccant packs because I drop my phone in water a lot or in tea or in coffee or in beer. Uh, so I keep a lot of these silica gels. You know, when you get electronics, you end up getting these things to keep the moisture out. So I'm gonna open one of these. You get a bunch of these little beads and they're perfect scale for small fruits. So I'm gonna use these and um, hopefully it turns out well. So for baskets to hold my mini fruits, I'm gonna use uh, acorn tops. And acorns are pretty common. I mean, surprisingly enough, that oak trees, which acorns are from, are pretty common all over the world. So hopefully you guys can find acorn tops really easily. If not, they actually sell them on Amazon, surprisingly enough. Perfect. Just need to flatten the top up here, so it's, I'm just gonna cut it with uh, an X-Acto knife. So I tried painting them individually, or at least in bundles, but that proved to be a little too difficult and it was just annoying. So I ended up uh, just putting them all in the acorn basket first, just drop a um, PVA glue in there and let it dry and then I'll just paint it while it's stuck. It's much easier, they're not rolling around and they take glue evenly even better.
I thought about um, painting the acorn tops also, but I can't improve on nature. It looks really good already. I am going to do a little uh, dark wash on it just to make the grooves come out a little bit more. But other than that, it looks good on its own. And there it is. Cheap, quick, and easy way to uh, build a fruit stand for your D&D table. And this is going to be a part of a bigger project. And as soon as I'm done with that video, I'm going to post a link in the description for this tutorial. So hopefully you guys can check that out too.